So we're walking out of this gym, which is the oldest gym in America, on Fordham's beautiful campus where you got to call home for four years. Can you show me some of your, your favorite parts of the, the old stomping grounds? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Fordham is uh, it's a beautiful campus, kind of tucked away here in the Bronx. And it's gorgeous. So this here is Eddie's Parade. It's pretty much the main part of campus. And um, on a nice day when school's in session, this is mobbed. Everyone's hanging out. You know, I think that's one of the big draws to Fordham because you come here, and you got this New York City, Manhattan's in your backyard. You take the train down there, and 15, 20 minutes, you're right in Midtown. When did Fordham become a possibility for you? Um, I'd say by my junior year when in high school when the recruiting was really uh, starting to get going. I think the fact that I was so comfortable on campus, you know, I knew the campus so well from being on here for four years of high school. When I got the offer from Fordham University, it was hard to say no. You know, I, I grew up 10 minutes from here. My dad's firehouse is about five minutes from here. Um, so this whole area is, you know, it's, it's been home for, for a while. Obviously, it's a great academic school. Mm -hmm. So it was always nice to know that if soccer didn't work out, which, you know, the odds of getting drafted are low. You think of how many kids play Division One soccer to, I think there's probably 50 or 60 kids that get drafted. So you always have to be prepared for, you know, if it didn't work out. And so I was fortunate to get my degree from here. Um, but you were also thinking about maybe following in your dad's footsteps if soccer didn't work out. Yeah, right? so I was, I got drafted in January of 2012, my senior year. Um, and I was signed up for the FDNY test of, I think it was in March or April of that year. Me and my brothers, we really grew up in the firehouse. Yeah. And, you know, such a tight knit bond that those guys have. And, you know, I felt like we had 50 uncles that we looked up to and um, we were so close with them. So the fire department was like a second family to us. So it's something I would have definitely tried to do if, if soccer didn't work out. At what part in your college career, what stage did you think, okay, maybe I have what it takes to, to go and play professional? I think by my junior year, I, whispers of some scouts coming to games and stuff and um, and then my senior year uh, there was it seemed to be a lot of interest I never really dealt with anyone it was more you know coming through my coach that he would let me know if someone was coming and uh, and then it just kind of took off so when you guys weren't playing soccer after big games and things like that when you, you had your success where'd you go so we would go out uh, down on Arthur Avenue you know we're lucky it's some of the best Italian food you could get <laughs> So you said you spent eight years at Fordham. You know, you spent a ton of time with Red Bull. How important is family to you? I mean, it sounds like it's, it's become maybe one of the most important things. Yeah, it's everything. I think, um, you know, you're at your best when, you're, when you feel comfortable. You know, I think for me, it, it's pretty unique in the sense that I haven't left New York ever. Yeah. You know, you look at most guys on the team, from all over the world. Our team's like the United Nations. It's <laughs> yeah. a little bit of everything. But for me, being at home in New York means the world to me. You know, my my parents, my grandfather, my cousin Matt come to almost every game. And to have that, you know, I look at the other guys in the team who, you know, their families might come over a couple times a year maybe, and I just try to not to ever take it for granted. I always like to look up in the stands and see them. I always know where they're sitting, and um, it's been a fun ride so far.